the, the trout kit like? How was that good experience like? It was a good experience, you know. Uh, playing against some of the top people in the country in that age group. Uh, definitely was a competitive environment. Um, even though I didn't make it, I'm still confident in myself. I mean, I felt like I was just as talented as anyone there, so you know, I'm just looking forward to keep working on my game and preparing for uh, another Big Ten season. What did the coaches tell you after you left the camp when they, 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 they give you any advice? Um, actually, I didn't ask uh, for anything, but, but I think they spoke to my coaches. Right? So, you know, I'll be sure to check them out for uh, you know, see what they say. What do you learn from that experience that you feel will help you out here, not just in the summer, but going forward in the next season? Well, now I got to get used to playing with a sort of a target on my back, as you can see today. Um, playing in rhythm and finding out how to get my shots and where my spots at as a good option. And, you know, learning how to play now. You know, obviously, I'm talented enough, but at least I feel, I feel that way. But I need to learn how to play, develop my basketball key. So that's the next step for me. You just talked about how you feel you have a target on your back. Is that something that you embrace or you like having, knowing that you're going to be counted on more? I mean, I built a brick house today, so, <laughs> you know, some days you have it like that when you're a target. But, I mean, that's what comes with being a good player. I want to be the best player I can be. And the more uh, success you have and the more respect you gain, the more attention you're going to get on the court. So I have to adjust to it. All the best players do, Carmelo, LeBron. Even at the college level, Jamal Johnson, uh, we played a lot of teachers to him, double teaming him, so something you gotta play with when you're a good player. You play with scoops, you know, just gotta figure out how to get it done. You look like you put on some muscle. Yeah, I mean, I've been lifting weights. You know, I've been doing a lot of working out. I didn't go home, I didn't take any breaks, so I've been with my strength and conditioning coach, trying to stay committed to the weight room. And like I said, I'm gonna just keep working. And, you know, today was a good time. I hadn't really played in a while. I played over the weekend, but. I hadn't really played a lot of uh, basketball. I had just been working, working out, working out. So it's good for me. I need to get my rhythm back. I got to ask, uh, Anthony last week was saying that you guys were living together. Yeah. How are you liking that? Oh, he's a great roommate. He's crazy. It's like I got a brother, though. It's like he's a, he's a brother that I, uh, from another mother that I just met. Uh, he's 38, though, so he might be my father. <laughs> but I'm definitely, okay. I'm definitely enjoying it. He, he, he was saying that you were saying that he was 30 or acted 30. He turned 38 uh, just, just this weekend while I was going. I came back with some happy 38 birthday. <laughs>